Welcome everyone, thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to be playing an early access title called Novus Inceptio. Um, just a real brief look at it for maybe the next 20 or 30 minutes. Uh, it's currently on Steam. It is an early access title, but at this point it does appear to be um, pretty actively developed um, and updated. They actually just changed servers to, I think, add more stability. Um, but this is a survival uh, sort of simulator MMO type game. Um, that you can see already has some very nice visual sort of looks to it. It is very early access, so combat actually is a little bit wonky. I don't even think I'm going to try that currently. The, the crafting system is actually fairly well done so far. Um, and since I'm actually starting with a character I've already um, started, I'm not going to go through the whole process of it exactly in the beginning. You do start up in this little area here. Um, it gives you a really brief tutorial, uh, explains how everything's procedurally generated, and then gives you some blueprints, which are the sort of building recipes for crafting. I actually don't have anything to show you now because I've used them all. The crafting system is actually pretty well put together um, so already. Um, a lot of different options. I've created some of my armor already. Pretty low tier stuff, but nonetheless I've created some things. It is a little bit of a grind um, for collecting. Um, and it is a survival game, so you can see down here I have uh, thirst and hunger bars, which I'm going to have to eat sometime soon. Uh, I think I had something ready. Some potatoes. I'd actually farm these. Um, you can also gather uh, anywhere you can see down here I have a forage and botanize skills. You, you actually start out with these. Um, foraging is exactly what you would think it would be and um, botanize is kind of a similar thing. You're just going to come up with uh, different materials. Uh, so there I just foraged some branch uh, which actually does get used. Um, the game does have encumbrance and weight so you can see from here I have a capacity, well, capacity. Now, one thing different about this, you can see that little fellow right there that's following me. Um, that is the A, A2A, sort of a personal bot that follows you everywhere. Um, and actually does hold things for you. And you can see I already have some items in there. And we'll water. Um, that you can push some of your items to. Um, pretty much everything is harvestable, which is one thing I really enjoy. For example, here, they um, have different types of trees. Um, I'm picking leaves now. Interesting. Uh, they've changed, they've updated this since I last played, and it's sort of auto picking right now. It did not do this before. I have to say, this is actually a quite nice change. Just sort of a repetitive um, hit E, hit E, hit E. Um, but you can see, actually, as I did that, I lost quite a bit of hunger. Um, I can destroy this with an axe, which I do believe I have already. Yeah, stone axe. So now that I've equipped it, I can't destroy it. Uh, it disappeared. I did not actually gain anything from it. Um, but it did remove it from the area. The reason that is important, there actually is building um, within this game. I can maybe 
maybe show a little bit of later. You start out really, I think they recommend the, these rabbits are the very first thing you try to kill. Um, and I, I again have had just a horrible time <laughs> trying to do this. Um, actually, let's see if I can find. My skills are over here. Not sure why my stamina. Is dropping. Printing. I do not think I've over encumbered. No. Um, hunger is not that low yet. I do not believe I have any wounds. So, just saying I'm exhausted, but again, that's because I've lost all of my stamina. Which I'm not really sure why. me sprinting everywhere which could be part of the reason I do not know why all of a sudden it has sprint set to auto it was not like that before um, you do start out with a knife I do not know why I don't have one right now um, I should however be able to craft one let me first check and see if it's maybe in the inventory. Slouch, that's mine. There it is. For some reason the knife was placed Lost it. Cut this down and see if I dropped it somewhere. I might have actually just moved it over into my inventory now that I think about it. It certainly is not on the ground, so let's just check that out. No, so that must be a bug. It seems to have disappeared. Not in either of our inventories, so. All right, let's see. Um, it's going to see about crafting them. So here's the knife. And you can see our crafting window, rope, handle, and blade, basically to make the knife. So let's see if I actually have enough everything. The blade again, rock or metal. I actually do have leave in this inventory. Yeah. So I can make a metal blade. And then I need a hammer and an anvil. So I also have an anvil here. Let me drop it up in here. This is where you actually return should you die and you're able to regenerate a little bit. Um, yeah, it won't let me place it here. So let's go back outside. Again, I'm not sure what's changed. The default seems to be sprinting, which is taking down my stamina versus putting shift. I have to get out of the safe area. OK. 
Okay. Up the safe zone. There's our anvil. I need the hammer to be equipped, and I should be able to. I can't actually make a. Fire as well. I don't really care to right now, but we needed a blade. There's our metal thing set. Time we do this, it does take some stamina down. All right. What else was it we needed? A blade, I believe, a handle. Which again, uh, metal or shaft. I have more metal. Actually, I picked up the metal from uh, the introduction or introduction area. It's a procedurally generated cave that just goes on and on and on, but you can mine quite a bit. The problem is, um, you can only carry so much. So, I did learn how to smelt it down into the bars. And I keep failing. One of the quickest things I learned for hunger was to make... A fishing pole and down a little bit from the starting area there we go there's actually um, a nice pond that, that you can actually refill up all your water and pretty easily get fish as well so we have our handle and our blade we need the rope This is where it gets a little complicated. Rope requires two threads. Thread requires two fiber. So we need four fiber, which is all raw vegetable. Yeah, looks like we have enough here. And obviously the quality of using leads the fiber is not the greatest um, I've not really explored I'm sure there's a lot more out there um, one of the things I attempted to do was work with the building tools but it was it's kind of clumsy right now um, but you can't actually plant so I, I believe I have potato seeds somewhere. strands of fiber to make bread. Need two of these. That's done, I'll make some rope. Saw that box that pops up here you have to wait for it to disappear or else rearrange your windows um, for some reason it's not I'm not able to click through it yet developers that's one feedback I would get all right so we should have everything we need blade handle and rope we'll make our knife Get some fish, I think, right? We have five. But I could probably just eat these. I don't know how good raw fish would be. Fifteen percent. It's not bad. Um, I can show you the cooking real quick too.
the world is really pretty to look at. Apparently it's set on um, Ultra, or sorry, Hi, I did have it on Ultra, but the mouse was acting a little funny, so I love looking at the sky. And you can see the reflection in the water here. Um, anyways, filling up with water actually just requires me walking into it. See my thirst just went back. So now I have my fishing pole is active, and when I do that, my skill here does show up. Trout. And everything takes stamina, so even just sitting here fishing. Uh, you can see you actually get some opposite, some other things from it as well. Actually cooking some of these things takes quite a bit of... Oh, I just obtained a blueprint, which that's good. I can show you uh, here. New manufacturing recipe. Plot spear trunk. Well, I just learned it. I'm not sure what. show you the building tools in a minute, but um, again, under our crafting window, you can actually cook as well. So with the cooked meat, I can actually use the fish here. Now I don't have a fire going currently. Um, I've not found anything extra, quite frankly, using two different... I, I, Let's see if we can actually just do this now. Um, I should have enough to create a fire. Just need to make a campfire. Any kindlings and a knife. Uh, branches. We have a branch. I might actually need more branches. So from there, get our campfire. I think I'm going to have to. So feed it, but we'll see. Yeah. We need kindling to dry out some extras. There you go. Alright. Fortunately, because it's dark right now, I don't know that I'll be able to show you the building tools very easily. First, let's cook some meat. I need some water, which I do have some in this inventory. If I remember right, when I ate the fish raw, it restored about 15% of my hunger. So I would hope this at least restores 30. But let's find out. Twenty-three percent, thirty-nine percent. So sixteen percent side. That did not actually do much. And if I can just simply sit here, raw fish, go to 55. Now, I don't know yet if there's going to be things, I think there's going to be things like the sands. You know, in combat, you can get wounds. So I would assume that the future thing would be, if you eat raw fish, potentially you can get a disease. 
that would be a cool idea actually I would think but um, when I first started playing this I did try to com have combat and a <laughs> rabbit chased me forever or maybe it was one of the deer but it basically kicked my ass and uh, I could not figure out how to heal myself um, I later did but I actually had to die first um, I was able to create yeah this here healing cover so that will actually stop bleeding uh, so keep some of that with me again that's just a craftable item um, about here alchemy so just two herbs um, here I'll show you a sage another one um, you can actually also use the mushrooms they can be quite helpful when you're in your first so the things I'll say when you start out and you go into the first procedurally generated cave just as a tutorial you can mine some ore I would do that it will make it easier for weapons and things later for higher quality you can still use stone which you can find more out in this world uh, but you also get stone within that cave um, the other thing that is Throughout that whole area are these ancient mushrooms, uh, which again you can use to eat or cook with. So I, I would actually collect some of those, and then these ancient crystals, um, which I think will be more useful later. I don't have a lot of use for them right now. So, like here's a blueberry seed. I can actually plant that. Now I don't have anywhere to do that so far. Um, I don't think I have any more of the potato seeds here. I don't know if I can place that. So I can plant it here. Um, they've added fertilizer. Well, no, actually, the fertilizer has been there. I've just never used it. Uh, and I can water. And then this will be back. I forget how long it takes. Let me see if I can find that. 10 minutes to mature, so I'll let that sit there and show you. Uh, that'll actually be right towards the end. I'll see, let's see if I can actually open up any of the building menu. menu. It's really dark right now, so I don't know how much you'll be able to see. Uh, but you can see that opens right up, um, gives you more of an aerial view, but you can move around. The, the, the camera angling is really kind of clunky. But you can pre uh, these are sort of pre-made templates. Um, and these are the ones, again, that I've learned. Um, I've not found all of the blueprints. The blueprints you find will add on to these. And I, I think I've seen other people with just a lot of different types of structures. But um, I wonder if this is part of what I found earlier. Uh, it gives you an idea of what it will take to actually construct, because when you first do this, um, it just lets you place them. You aren't actually building it yet, and I don't really like that. Um, there. There's a, an angled... I get to where I can actually see a little bit better. tell it's, it's still a little a little odd trying to build some of these things getting it level with the ground is, is a little bit interesting um, yeah, there is a way to I have much better luck going up than down so I'm trying to go down there and it just pops right back up I really do not know what that is. Um, you can cycle through different things that you have. Um, but let's just, I guess, place something here. So when I place it 
I can pop out of the build here. And you can see it's it's not at all lined up. It's really a, that's the hardest thing that I've found so far is how to rectify that. Now, granted, I've only tried to build right here on the beach, so maybe there's some area, other place that's more flat. I don't know. Um, but when you walk up here, you can see you can either manufacture or remove the piece. I'm just going to remove it because I really don't have any interest in building anything right here. Um, there's actually some, I think the Twitter for the game has uh, posted a few pictures, I believe, or, or on the Steam page of some of the things people have created, which are actually quite impressive given the state of the game and the tools that you have. Um, I think I've seen somebody actually growing farms of stuff. Uh, so it definitely has a survival element. The only thing I've not found yet when we're talking survival um, is the risk uh, other than hunger and thirst. There's not a lot to the combat currently. Um, they have promised to change that. And again, this is early access, so you don't necessarily expect there to be anything big right now anyways. Um, so dark, I'm not sure I can actually find... I'm just going to try to find one of these rabbits that run through here. Or stumble onto one. I do have my knife equipped right now, you can see that right here. There's a deer. I'm not going to try that again. I learned my lesson the first time. I hit it, tried to hit it once. Don't think I was at all successful. And it followed me everywhere until I was dead. One more deer. Which I think I see a rabbit hopping right back here. This side of it. It was here. Or maybe it was just another one of the deer. Not quite sure where it went. I think right now there's really only four. To, there it is. Four different types of so you can see I actually can't even it's not even let me hit it, hit it right now ah yes that's right all right where'd you go forgot to hit tab to actually go into battle stance and, of course, now I've lost it. Right here. Um, as I try to find this. Overall, I mean, I'm, I'm actually fairly impressed. The world looks beautiful. Um, which you really, I, I think, nowadays can expect. Anything that's built in any of the engines currently, you know, Unreal, Unity, graphics really should not be too much of a problem. Um, you know, everything I've seen coming out of those engines looks wonderful. There we are. So, you can see I'm right on top of it. Don't appear to be actually hitting it. It's not dying. Actually, my window says I'm hitting it. So it died. All right, and now I'm frozen. What the hell? See if I can get it highlighted. Can't interact. What the hell's going on? Right, 
What happens if I come out of? It's really weird. All right. I'm gonna pick the pelt and then pick the meat. For some reason, it is not letting me pick the meat. Know if why there we go. Oh, I see what happened there. It was on F once that uh, pelt went away, it switched off. So there was the combat. I don't know about you, but that is a lot of damage that that hair took before it was dead. Um, you can't actually use the axe as well. So, all right, that's a little bit of combat. I'm almost over my 30 minutes that I had planned on. Actually, I am over. Let's just run up here. Um, I'll go show you real quick. The potato should be done. appears to still be going. You can see how everything in the distance is a little bit fuzzy, but that's due to the, again, the way the game set up with the procedural generation. As you get closer, it gets better. See some of the clouds starting to come across. Um, I've not explored outside of this area. Uh, once I get a little bit more terms of armor items, little quality, understanding things a little better, I'll probably change that. Let's see if I can kill this one. The other thing is you can see that Etude A thing gets in your vision quite a bit. Um, still, you freeze up with combat. I'm sure they know that, the developers, if you're watching this. Once he's dead, I can no longer move, so I have to come out of combat. There we go. All right. There we go. Let's see. Ah, oh, there you go. Now you actually, to harvest it, you do have to again have a rake. I actually had already made one. It's right here. So now I can harvest. And again, I got potato seeds. I must get potato seeds every time. The potatoes can be used later for cooking or um, eating. Um, so anyways, this is sort of a real brief introduction to Novus Inceptio. I will be playing it more. Uh, hopefully being able to show off some of the building elements um, once I find an actually good place to do so. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed watching um, I play MMORPGs basically I love indie type games things that are not necessarily mainstream and certainly if there's anything that you'd like me to check out I'm happy to do so um, there are a few others I'll be looking at as well but um, so far, this game has a lot of potential. I enjoy it quite a bit. So, um, again, it's on Steam. It's called Novus Inceptio. Uh, if you enjoy it, check it out. Actually, I think right now it's on sale, although that will be ending. I think that was the Halloween sale. Um, you can give them a follow on Twitter as well. So, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully I'll be posting something else new uh, soon. And, uh, and hit me up on Twitter if you have any questions. Peace.